We're the jocks of the geeks. We're the people, we're the geeks that pick on other geeks. Basically, we get together and we beat each other up and knock each other senseless with uh, foam padded sticks. We do a medieval combat group, uh, an international medieval combat group called Belagarth. It's an athletic sport and it is a game about competition. It, it is war games. There's something very visceral about going into a, a situation where it's hand-to-hand hand -hand combat, you know, a sword and a shield, what can I do and what can I stop you from doing to me, um, where the only limiting factor is what you yourself can do. I'm an aircraft structural mechanic. I work on the body work of, of helicopters. I actually started fighting in March of 2005. I was working at Laser Assault here in Provo. We had a group come in, and between games, we went out to have a, a smoke and you know get a little get a little fresh air. And uh, a guy had a Stetson cowboy hat on that had chainmail as a hat band. And I asked him, I was like, what's, what's that? You know, where did you make that? Did you buy it? That's pretty cool. And he goes, well, actually, I made it because I'm part of this group. And he told me about the Bellagarth group down there. And uh, the next Thursday, I went out. There was a bow sitting on the table with the arrows, and I asked them about it. They explained all the rules, and then they let me borrow it. And uh, so I went out onto the field, and first time out, I shot somebody square in the chest, first, first arrow. Between that Thursday practice and the next Saturday practice, I went out, built myself a set of arrows, bought myself a set of garb, bought myself a bow, and by Saturday, three days later, I had a full set of gear, and I've just been hopelessly addicted since. You're coming in, this, you're coming in to close with your knee, Right. I mean, I'm interested in the knee because I can go in with that new style I've got, right, with the punch shield and the sword, and I can get in like this, like Elrod's trying to teach us, right, and then oh, try to open it up with that leg. Like I said. Oddly enough, the first night that I started in Belagarth, um, I had my nose broken by an archer. Um, that would be Bacchus, <laughs> and uh, and we've kind of been friends ever since. Uh, we 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 started talking on the field. We started fighting together. He had joined the year before I had, and was part of this absolutely badass group of people um, called the Forsaken. Certain groups turn into tighter tighter knit families than others. Um, the Forsaken, for instance, we're all brothers. We, we're a really tight knit family, and really everybody is. Like any family, we've got the, you know, the idiot uncle that shows up and you're like, really, dude, did he have to come to the family reunion this year? But, you know, that's any family. The last couple of months, we've been gearing up towards, uh, towards Chaos Wars, and so we've spent a lot of time getting together as the Forsaken and, and doing weapon construction and stuff like that. Um, but because it is a very community-oriented uh, sport, it's not just, hey, this is us and our click over here. Uh, we open it to everybody. I'm looking good. Have you seen our guard? I'm making fantastic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, um, <laughs> but uh, you know that. We've been, we've been fighting there for 20 years now. Uh, starts every Thursday um, at about 6.30, 7 o'clock or whenever people show up until the park closes at 11. We'll get guys that'll come by that haven't fought with us for 10, 15 years. You know, they're, they're coming back to visit family and they're, what am I gonna do, it's a Thursday. Oh yeah, and they'll show up and sure enough, we'll be there and, and they're like, there they are, they're still doing this, holy cow. So, you know, that we, we don't plan on moving it ever unless the city tears down the park. Really, I would, I'd say 90% of the people would just about do anything, especially in our local realm. Um, you know, if, if someone was in jail, they could call just about any of us and be like, and we'd go take care of them. I would not replace any of the friendships that I've made, any of the people that I've met through Bellagarth. I wouldn't replace any of it for anything in the world. I just wouldn't do it. When I think of my family, I think of not only my biological family, but equal to is my Bellagarth family and the way that we all hang together. And I mean, that just goes, that goes way beyond even the sport. It, it doesn't have anything to do with the sport. If we all quit tomorrow, it wouldn't change anything. We're, you know, we're brothers regardless.